So we have our first Vihu bed that actually has been worn out. <laughs> this is Farley's and he loves it. So and it actually does him good. He does great with it. So it started off like this, like breaking apart and then it on this side and it just let loose. But um, he does weigh a lot. It is supposed to be rated for his weight though. So it's really not too bad though because uh, he's, you can just see where he's got up on it and stuff, but he's not rough with this stuff, but I just think, um, the weight of this big guy, it just let loose. So, um, I already have another one that I had bought. So, we are good to go. And I, sh I will try to get a hold of them because, um, it's rated for his size, so... He, it shouldn't have frayed like that, but we'll see. But the frame is still good and strong. So I got to get Farley fixed up and change this out for him. My main man. Hey, Francine here at Devoted Danes. And today, I'm just cleaning up the rooms for my puppies. Uh, I just want to show you how much they shed and how much their feet get dirty in their little kennels. Um, so I clean these guys at least once a week, mostly twice a week, but a minimum of once a week. And just how dirty, dusty everything gets. This is, this is not what to be, she's shedding big time. So look at the dirt she brings in on her toes. It just goes everywhere. It's even on her bed. So what I, and then everything just gets so dusty and dirty <laughs> it's crazy you would not think that that much hair is on a great dane but uh they shed awful um it's the time of year this is mr farley's area and he i um redid his bed this is a vihu bed and as you can tell farley is the toy uh, he loves toys, so he has tons of toys. So once I'm cleaning, I actually flip these up and look at the, he's got tons of hair and dirt and all his toys get washed too because they get dusty and dirty from being in here. And this is just dirt they're bringing in from their toes from outside. Uh, we have pea stone outside, but it still gets dirty. And he has his blanket. I use clip bowls for Farley. And this is Ebby. Uh, her Ebby actually is one of the less messy ones. Uh, her bowl has to get washed out and like her, I guess she does have dirt under her blanket, but her bed stays fairly clean because she actually has a vinyl bed where um, some of the other ones are net, but I, even hers, I pick it up. She likes to sit out in the, she has some sun that comes in her, so she likes to sit out in the sun, so I usually um, make sure her blanket's clean so she can lay out in the sun because she actually has a window um, close to her so she can see, and that's also where we put the AC and the fans. So this is what it's like when you have, um, you know, Great Danes. They're, they're, um, they're bringing dirt on their feet, and it's a weekly cleaning, like... There's always something to be doing. The bowls always have to be taken out and um, water and soap to wash them out. So I'm just vacuuming out their thing and getting their squared away while they're outside playing. And this is a weekly, if not mostly bi-weekly, but at least a weekly thing. Um, Vihu was very good. I sent them a message about um, Farley's bed just coming apart at the seams. And I just told them a little bit about us, and within, they're going to send us a new bed right away, so uh, that's cool. But I did have a spare replacement on hand, so I did Farley's last night. And now I just got to come in here and clean up the dirty little mess. And as you can see, um, I have done a video before about this, but we have horse mats on the floor. And it's just um, vinyl uh, linoleum to try to save our hardwood floors. But even them, they get they get dusty and dirty. Um, this is the, they are on the side of the road. So they have a couple windows and then if I open them up, the dust comes in from the road. So 
um, that's why. But they have a lot. They have like three windows in here, so. So this room is done. And Haley does be bop wherever she wants to around the house. So I have the window open, airing it out. I just use hot water and soap on their kennels. Um, I didn't use bleach. I do use bleach on the floors, but um, I don't want them to have to come in and smell that. They're outside and enjoying this nice weather right now. She's so nosy. Are you a nosy kitty? Okay, so I did vacuuming, mopping, wash their, a couple of them have um, dish holders, but most of them have clip-on ones. So this is their water, and it's stainless steel, but it does get, uh, it gets dirty from them drinking, eating, and slobbering all over. So Nala's all set. Farley is, all his toys. I'll organize it like this and then he'll come in and do whatever he wants with it. He also has just two clip bowls and it gives him more space in here. Um, these are the Vihu extra large beds. They're very big. I think if I, when I order them for Grizzly and Violet, I'm just gonna order large so that they can go uh, in that way and just to the back of their um, kettle. So these are canine, these are from the Canine Kennel Store. Um, they're really nice kennels. So these are four by eights, walk out, and they come with a gate. They're good size. This is Ebby's. Um, she likes her bed up there, but sometimes she also likes to sit on, the, on her mat, on a blanket. And Ebby had a clip on water too, but um, I don't know if she broke it, so I've got to get her a new clip-on water one. It's always a process of who needs what, what do I need to order. That's why we always order a lot of stuff from Chewy. Um, and this is a Cadundra bed, which I actually prefer the Vihu beds over the Cadundra ones. Uh, reason being is I have some foisty kids. Ebby, no problems with hers, but I was just doing Nala's bed, and I found... So the reason why I like the Vihu beds over the Karanda beds is because, see that bolt is missing? And how wiggly it is. I have rambunctious puppies and they like to move their beds, especially Diesel, so they get uh, wiggly like that. So you always have to come in and put the bolts back in and tighten them and find them and hope you don't vacuum in them up. So we've actually had to go to the hardware store and get replacements for those. And we've even double bolted it and washers and they still come loose. So on the Vihu beds, the bolts stay in and they're actually um, sunk in under the bottom so they don't come out. I've never had any of these beds come loose and it ain't moving. So I prefer these, they're actually cost efficient more than the Karanda beds are more expensive and you always have to do the bolts. So I prefer these and they're more reasonable, they're bigger sizes and um, I just, I prefer them. That's why I prefer them. There's no maintenance to them. I mean, the, all the you saw how all the dirt goes through it and um, that one is like that too but you can see how the dirt also stays on the top. It looks dusty. I vacuum it and it's still dusty. This one, there's no dust. It falls right through, so it is kind of better. You play with your mama. Here's Abby. Hey, Abigail. See what's going on in your neighborhood? Yep. Definitely, she says. You guys ready for dinner? You waiting for dinner? She waiting for dinner, Abigail?
Is it time for dinner? <laughs> Must be time for dinner. Did you snack someone's toy? Hmm? Did you? you notice your area is clean. You think you could keep it that way? Pretty girl. You don't say. But they always have bones and stuff in here to keep them occupied or toys. Maggie's good. She's not a chewer, so she still has her raised dish. She likes it. She's a good girl. Hi, Maggie do. Hi, Maggie do. Look at that tail. <laughs> yes. So the thing with these kennels is they have these cotter pits that you pins that you can put in and believe it or not Nala knows how to take those cotter pins out <laughs> but it's to make sure everybody's where you want them to be so they eat they have a downtime and then they'll go back out they'll come back out so everybody has their turns while they were outside i cleaned up their room that's a lot of work but we do like I said before, a minimum of once a week just to get the dirt and grime off. Twice a week, I'll come in here mid-week and do a shop back, but not mop. I just mop today. So. She took it, huh? I don't know if she's going to want to play. Eva, did you steal that from the babies? Eva, that's theirs. She took it from you. She loves pigs. Oh, he said that was ours. Must be she's not brave enough to take it back. Did you steal that from the babies? Hmm. I know. You like pigs. It's one of your favorites. So you don't take it back either. Hey, Fiona. Hi, girl. So we finally finished the front of our coop. It looks great. We have a new door, a big gate so we can get in there with mulch or pea stone or whatever we want to do. I still am going to be setting up a 
hopefully maybe today or this weekend, setting up a area right here, putting a gate, and having that for our young um, geese, ducks, chickens, anything that comes out here that can't go in with the flock yet, that they will be too little, they're gonna go in there. Well, hi, Gary. Hi, Maggie Do. What'd you say, mister?